applications and is relatively cheap. But as CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, explains, redeveloping the drug may not fit into the business plans of the big pharmaceutical companies. The tumor, the three dear Dr. Evangelos Michalakis has given cancer researchers a brand new lead with an old drug, a cheap, inexpensive powder that costs just pennies a dose. You typically get this eureka kind of uh, feeling, and it's actually the most exciting thing a scientist can get. The drug, called DCA in short, has been used for decades in humans with some rare inherited diseases. When he added it to the water of mice and rats given human cancers, the results surprised him. And has this uh, big tumor growing in, in his back. So you can see that even after three weeks, there is a significant or 70% decrease in tumor size. It shrunk brain, breast, and lung tumors in the animals in a matter of weeks. And the drug had no side effects, confirmed by tests of DCA in humans for other diseases. This kind of results to my mind, are as good as, as it gets. And it seems to work by reviving the energy-producing components of human cells, allowing the cells to work normally again, triggering cancer cells to commit suicide. Scientists agree that DCA now needs to be tested quickly in human cancer patients. This is the, exactly what we want, a drug that has activity, but has also minimal side effects for uh, patients. But there's a problem. DCA isn't owned by any pharmaceutical company. There's no patent on it. So on one hand, it could become a very inexpensive new treatment for cancer. On the other, drug companies won't be interested in funding studies for a drug that won't make them a profit. This is a, a difficult question because typically, you know, the, there are market considerations. So now Dr. Michalakis has to find someone who will pay for the next round of testing. We hope that we can attract the interest of universities here in Canada and in the United States. And he doesn't want to let the medical dream of a cheap, effective anti-cancer drug disappear, just because it might not make someone a lot of money. It costs, some say, about $100 million to get a new drug through all the phases of testing onto the market. So it will be interesting to see if this old drug actually gets a new chance at becoming an anti-cancer medication. Lloyd? Well, Avis, your report tells us that this drug has great promise. So why aren't companies and institutions lining up to get behind it? Well, first of all, Lloyd, this is the initial report. Secondly, because the drug isn't patented, it's an old drug, if someone invests in researching it, they're not going to make a profit because anyone can make it. So we'll have to see. There are some agencies public agencies, government agencies that may give it funding, but that's still a question that will have to be answered. But unless big pharmaceutical companies are behind these things, they may go nowhere, is that it? Well, actually, Lloyd, I've had two other stories where drugs have shown great promise in the preclinical phase, and because they were orphan drugs and no one picked up, nobody could get the patent on it, they've gone nowhere. So I will be keeping an eye on this one. Thank you very much, Avis. Thank